So yeah, the first line ends over here and starts over there. Jack got a yo yak three house in it. Hi, I got the middle to go. Ya no, Nakawa Hanto Hontoni Honde Honde the bo bo boy data. So what's this guy? A small two. What's this guy? A po. It's actually pa. Ah ha, so pa. Yes. So ipai. 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 Ipai tata. Nice. Do you know what haya agate means? To hai and agate. So like to open something. That is a good or to enter. It's like there you go. That's a lot closer. So um, it's very similar to that. Um, hi, uh, Gadu. I'm just going to show you the kanji for it that they left out. Uh, this first kanji right here means to crawl. And Agadu is the going up into kind of meaning. So it means to crawl upwards or crawl into something since we have treehouse to me. Uh, so he crawls up to the tree house, and in this case, inside of it. Because, uh, you know, this is Jack. He's the one, mm. this is right back in the beginning when Jack's climbing up the Nawabashi go. Hi. Hi, I got that. Do you remember how um, Annie crawled up? Uh, what did she do? She did a sududi, was like whatever, it, it was like sududi, which meant she flipped in. She was like, smooth like butter mm. and jam. But Jack, you know, it's not as athletic as his little sister. So she kind of, he kind of just crawls his way into there. Uh, what does yo yaku mean? It's a time. Yo yaku. Uh, like four minutes, four seconds. Yeah, it, it means like after a while. Yo yaku. Mm -hmm. So Annie was like, bam, he, he went don, 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 I believe is the sound effect they used. So she was like, bam, bam, bam. But yo, yaku, hiya, God. So, so it's like, like shibaraku. Yeah, exactly. It's like shibaraku. Uh, shibaraku, like yo, yaku, tends to be like kind of modifying the verb a little bit versus like shibaraku, which is just time in itself. It just means it was time passed is a shibaraku well yo yaku is more like it took a long time you see how that's like a little different in english but yeah exact same um amount of time if you use it differently in the sentence um so then we have to koya no naka wa honto ni hon ga hon de ippai datta what does the koya no naka wa honto ni hon de ippai datta mean? So koya no naka wa, so inside of the small house or the tree house, honto ni hon de ippai datta. So there really was ippai hon, so there really was a lot of books. Exactly, perfect. So how is miruto combining these two sentences together? Miruto, and then koya no naka wa. Three house of akete miru. So you saw it inside of the tree house first, yep. and then you realize there's a lot of books inside of it. Exactly. Perfect. Nice. Nice. And next is this line, and down here starts up there. Uh, hokori o kabuta furu, furui ban? Furui ban? Or is that a different word? Uh, furui hon. Furui hon. <laughs> Mo areba. Ana. Poka poka. Poka poka no. Pikachu make. Ah, yeah. Poka poka no. Pika pika. Pika. Okay, I thought something was off. Pika pika no. Atarashi hon mo. Atarashi? Yeah, Atarashi hon mo aru. 
Nice. Do you know what Pika Pika meant? So is it just a sound effect? It is a sound effect, but it has like a kind, it has a meaning. So like sparkly. Yeah, perfect. Hi, hi, hi. So uh, what does hokori o kabutta mean? Hokori o kabutta. Kabutta. Hmm, what could that be? Is it the cover? The hokori. Uh, kabuta means to cover, like the verb to cover something. But hokori, nandake. Bookmark. That's that's he. That's like C O D. I think that sounds wrong. I'm I'm a little bit off for that. Hokori means that. So we oh, have dust. Furui, furui hon. What's a furui hon? Furui, so ancient book. Yeah, uh, an old book. Uh, furui means like old condition. So like you're right with like ancient, but like theoretically you could say a furui, a book could be furui if it's like in boro boro uh, condition. So it's not in the best condition is kind of what furui means. If it said like mm. bukushi no hon, that would mean it's an old book but it's probably in good condition so furui means it's probably not in the absolute best condition hence the hokori that's kabutaing it what does hokori o kabuta mean so dust on the yeah. cover of the book i'm guessing well just on the book in general it's it's probably just on the cover you're correct but it just means books covered in dust or adu what does aru mean? Aru, to exist or to be. And then we have pika pika no atarushi hon mo aru. What does that mean? So pika, oh, pika pika no atarushi hon mo aru. So there was a shiny new book. Mm -hmm. So in Japanese, whether or not we're talking about one thing or 5,000 things, uh, it's, it's normally very vague. Um, in this case, since we were talking about ippai datta, we can assume there's like a thousand furui books and a thousand atarasi books. Um, that's, there, there's, so there's probably not just two books since there's ippai uh, context. Uh, do you vaguely remember what this areba, the deba part is doing here? It's a little weird. It's not what you would normally expect. Areba. The word itself? Or well, what the reba part is doing. Because it's not um arumo, pika pika no arumo. And so we have areba connecting these two phrases together. So did exist. So like mm -hmm. so aru means exist. Deba is a conjugation. For example, I could say you know what taberu means? To eat. So, ta de deba is a phrase. We can add deba right there. Ta de deba. So, deba means if, basically. So, this gets a little weird right here because it's an if in a win like way. So, um, if there was, if there's old books, there's also new books. But it's said in like a statement. So it's just like a difference between English and Japanese. So I'm not sure how you'd phrase that in English. When there, it just is, there is these two things, but it's just, it's said in a if then, then there is this kind of way. Does that make sense? Hmm. So if something's true, then something else. Yes, that's how it's stated. Exactly. So. If there's old books, there's also real books, uh, which sounds weird in English, but probably sounds quite nice in Japanese. So let's see, what does Annie say? Uh, hora mite, anna ni, an, anna ni toku, toku made miru no yo, miru no yo. Do you know what anna ni is doing in the sentence? 
It's underlined. I remember it being different. So it's kind of emphasizing the point. Yes, it is emphasizing something. Um, in this case, it's toku made miru. Well, I guess the whole part. Toku made miru. It just makes a nice little underline over that. Uh, do you know what made is doing here? Made. Uh -uh. So it's emphasizing made, which is like after a bit or mm. a while or a go. So in the sentence, it's kind of emphasizing toku, but it's not really what it means. So made means like until or like to the extent, I would say in this sentence. <laughs> to the extent. So toku, what does that mean? It is not a time phrase. Toku. Toku. It is very familiar. Hmm. Well, how about toku. me? So is it like scanning? That's a really good guess. So it's it's more like scanning than it is like mite. But miru is just the ability to see. Oh, yeah. I thought the toku is the scanning. So toku means far. Mm. It is a oh, I knew it. Yeah. So, so anani toku made means super duper far away. Uh, but they're using very... But words that don't mean super duper far away. Because anani is underlining it. We just have far to the extent. To the extent of farness that we would use anani for. <laughs> Which is very like vague compared to English. It's not super duper, but I would translate that super duper far away. We can mieru. Mieru. What does that mean again, mieru? To see. Yes. How is it different than mite? Mite is like, come look, or let's that see, is, I guess. That is correct. In this form, it is the order form. How is it different from miru then? Miru mm -hmm. is the ability to see. No, miru is the ability to see. Oh, the miru is to see, I guess. A lot of times you'll see an e in a word when you're talking about the ability to do something. I think it's like the passive form of the verb. It's e a lot of time, like. Kakaseru or something. So, and then we have this sentence. Ah, uh, ani ga mado no soto o yubi yubi sashite. No soto o yubi sashite. So pointing at the mado, so the window. Mm -hmm. What of the window? Mado no soto. Soto, outside of the window. Exactly. Perfect. And then let's see, what does Jack do? Jack mo mato kara soto o nagamita. So Jack, window, soto o nagamita. Mm -hmm. So he naga. So he looked at the window after a little bit. What does soto mean? Outside. And what part is me meaning looked in this context? The mita. There's no mita in the sentence. There's nagameta. <laughs> which nagameta. Does, which oh, does okay, it's one word. To see in this case. Um, specifically, naga nagameta means like to view something, like to view a view. So in to English, view we don't. View. Yeah, to, to view a view. Uh, so, miru just means you're looking. There's, there's nothing to like, it has more of like the surveying meaning. Uh, you normally nagame, you normally nagameta if it looks nice. If it's, if it's pretty, if it's scenery, then you're like, ooh, and you're nagameting. <laughs> so, hisoto nagameta means he looks outside, but it's a very like, you're seeing the sight. He does like a little, wow. It's kind of what it means. Uh, you could definitely say soto o mita, which means he looked outside, but nagamata just gives us more color. 
and lets us know that it looks nice outside. Uh, he didn't look outside and it's just a black void of nothingness. Mm. That tells us. If, if, there, if you looked outside and somebody saw, he was like, I look at the window and saw this. We can't use Naga with them. We see nothing. So we're telling us he does see something and it's like a view. Uh, what does kara mean? It's the kara. opposite of made. Or so, so kara until. So until, made means or until. Just after. So made means until. So that means kara cannot mean until. Mm. A lot of times people say koko kara soko made. It's normal. So, Until koko. here from there, kind yes. of. So kara means from. So mado kara soto o nagameta. Mado kara soto o nagameta. Did he look at the wall and was able to see outside of it? Like, is it like glass walls are here or something? What, what's going on? How is he able to see the outside world in his little hut? So he kind of took a peek. Where did he take a peek? Is he like, can you see through walls? How, how is he staring outside? Through the window? <laughs> yes. Mado kara. Mado means widow and kara means from. So from. Jack mm. also views the outside from the window, is what that says. He gazes. Oh, that's the word in English. Gazes. Mm. He gazes outside from the window. Hi. Ito. Next is this guy. Kono katsu no ki wa amori no dono. Nice. Do you remember what kashi meant? Kashi, evergreen tree. Exactly. So then we have yori right here. This was super important and does not mm -hmm. mean no hole. It's the opposite of no holga. Because in English, we love no holga, but Japanese people love yori. So bigger than. Mm. English people like bigger than. So this is first thing is smaller than the second thing. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. So mori, so mori no dono ki yori takai. So mori no dono. I can no just, dono. Well, I'll delete dono for now. I feel like it might be a little complicated. Mori no ki yori mo takai yo da. So mori no ki. So the trees of the forest are less than or smaller than yeah. the kashi no ki. Kashi no ki. Mm, the evergreen tree. Exactly. So dono is saying which. So this is basically saying no matter which tree from this forest, they are all smaller than the kashi no tree. Dono ki yori mo. So it doesn't matter which tree you pick. They will all be less tall than this key tree. Mm. Uh, next is this guy. Tree house no mado kara wa fukotsu furoku creek no machi ga zenbu miwataseru. Nice. So miwataseru, here's another mi word. So miwataseru. Does not mean miru and does not mean mieru. But if I had to pick one, I would say mieru is a little bit more similar if you were translating it into English, even though it's more similar to miru in action. Hmm. So, mi wataseru. Uh, you see how the eh? <laughs> mi wataseru. Eh. Mi wata. Miwatasuru. It's, it's because it's combining miru with uh, watasu is what happened. Uh, I'm sure you don't know what watasu means, but it's a pretty common word. Is it like ferry across? I remember yes. seeing it. Watasu does mean the ferry across. 
So how would you ferry across your site? What would that mean, you think? So it's kind of like scanning, I guess. Exactly, 100% correct. Yep. Miwatasuru means to survey or to scan like something with your eyes. That is perfect. Yep. Miwatasuru. Hi, 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 hi. I feel like you know everything else now. We got Madokara again. That's a hard one for you. Mm -hmm. Madokara. The same word. So, like, until window, I guess. Close. Very close. That'd be ma so until means you hit the window and you're not going any further. You cannot miwatasu the outside of the window because you stopped at the window. Hmm. That would be what until would mean. Until the window. You hit the window, boom, cannot see anymore. There's blackness out there. But that's not what this is saying, right? Because he's looking at the soto. So how do we change oh, outside? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we are looking at the outside. But what does kata mean? It's not until. Because until would mean we hit the window and we can't see anymore. So it should be from. Exactly. Perfect. Mado kara. Tsuri-house no mado kara. Frog Creek no machi ga zenbu miwaseta. Miwataseru. Frog Creek no machi ga miwataseru. So, definitely or definitely scan across all of Frog Creek. Yes. The city of Frog Creek. Perfect. So Zembu means all. I wasn't sure where you were adding definitely from. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or oh. all of it. Zembu. So he scan so um from the window of the tree house, see someone could theoretically scan um all of the city of frog creek it doesn't specifically say that somebody is scanning but the possibility exists but you could do that um next is this one okay. uh, i always forget that so, she, she, so, yes, so. Mm. Uh, nice. So let's look at the vocabulary we talked about earlier. Mieta. What does that mean? Mieta. Uh, seen or saw. Mm, it is past tense. How is it different than mita? Mita means to have seen. Mieta. To have, I guess, scanned. Yeah, it, it means uh, the ability. To have had the ability to see. Mm. Um, it does kind of insinuate that. So what's going on is that um, for this whole phrase, we're not necessarily saying whether or not Jack looked at these things. But he had the potential that he could have done it. It's possible. Uh, part of this has to do with um, we're we're a third person narrator. We're the we're just kind of standing behind everybody's shoulders, and we're just like, oh, Jack could have did this. <laughs> um, do you want know to talk it? Toku. So it's like long distance. Yeah. So saki made is a little bit hard. It's a time phrase. Saki made. Saki made. So saki made would be. I think it's like almost immediate. That's actually true. Yeah, saki made. It means not that long ago. A lot of times it'll be like just a second ago. Uh, in this case. It definitely does not mean that, <laughs> just by context. But it, it really does mean they were just there a bit ago. So a uh, bit ago is saki made. So saki made ita toshokan. So ita, who was ita? That's been dropped from the sentence. Who was ita? Uh, I don't remember. Was it Jack? It was Jack. 
Uh, you could also argue it was the narrator since we're part of this journey. Uh, so, <laughs> so the so this is the library Toshokan that we were just That's at. Okay. We, we were just at this library, um, and it's very toku. That's an example of how toku we can see. We can we can see we have the ability to see the library where we're at earlier. Um, and I'm just going to read this part because it's on two pages. Gakko mo koen mo mieru, which is we have the ability to see the school and the park and um, something else. I don't remember. Uh, oh, it's just two things. Yep, you can see the school and the park. And right here is um, Annie. あ、私たちのうちも見えるは、ほら、あそ、あそに。あそこ。あそこ。どのあせに。はい。あ、ワッツアップ。オッケー、ワッツ。あ、what is but specifically, watashi no ie. So uchi is what you say when you're talking about your own ie. You remember what ie meant? Uh, dwelling. Yes. Yep. Ie means house. So you could say uchi means home in this case versus house. Maybe. So watashi tachi no uchi mo mieru wa wa is just a feminine marker, basically. That's why I knew this was Annie. I scanned this. I was like, who's talking? Wow, Jack would never say that. Hmm. But yeah, what does this part mean? Uh, we can see our house. Or Perfect. Home, yeah, you see how in English we add the can there? We can see our house. Hmm. <laughs> that, that's perfect for uh, this meeting. The ability. We can see. Perfect. Um, and hora asoko, what does that mean? Like, hey, over there. Yep. Uh, ah, honto da. Oh, you're right. Next is this guy. Hori no muko ni miru. Ah, mitori iru no pochi no pochi no tsuta. What is that? Oh, just continue reading it. Mm. Uh, mm. So we have an ie. What's something that houses can have built it off of them? A balcony. Yes. Uh, specifically, this would be a porch, which <laughs> Like a big balcony. <laughs> so tuita means to be attached. So attached to the shiroi ie is a midori pochi. What does that mean? Midori pochi. So a green colored porch. Mm -hmm. It's tuita to the shiroi it's attached ie. Yep. To a white house. Or, exactly. Yeah, um, so the location of this is ton, tonari, sorry, tori no mukoni. So first, she points at her house. And now we're at tori no mukoni. So long in the opposite direction. Exactly. So tori means street. So rather than across over here or across over here, it's saying like their neighbor, but across the street. So, kono ie. That's Jack. And this is their neighbor with their dog, Henby. It's over here. So, yeah, this is Annie's house. This is Henby's house. Yeah, it's very important that it's across the road. Tori. <laughs> and then next is this. Uh, 
1サイクミル。or チーサイク。何ですかね。チーサイクミル。はいはいはい。そう、アニの家、then we went トーリの向こうに、right over here, and then we went トーナリ、which could be either way. She could be over here as well. I don't know. Next to, yep. トーリの家。So, what does the rest of this mean? Ah,、uh, Inu no Henry Chisaiku Miru. So, you can see a small dog called Henry. Exactly. That is owned by the house next door to the house that has a green porch and is white, which is across the street from Annie's house. Ah,、uh, Yaho Henry Annie ga Sakenda. Yahoo has no meaning. It's like, hey, who? Yeah. yeah. What does Sakenda mean?、Uh, something we've done quite a bit of times. I forget. Sakenda. Yeah. So the act of saying Yahoo is an example of Annie doing Sakebu. What would you guess that would mean? Yahoo. To say out loud? Yes, but how loud is it? Would you say? Is she going?、Uh, oh, very loud.、Like、very loud.、Yep. It is a yell.、Mm. Sakenda. So it's a very loud noise she made. So because of that, Jack goes, <laughs> and what does he continue after he shushes her?、Uh, ここ Berita. Berita. Dareda. しまずい。バレたら。バレたら。バレたら。まずいよ。Yeah. So what does まずい mean? Ah,、uh, まずい。It's kind of like, yeah, バイ is like dangerous. Exactly. Or like, no, ダメ。How about バレた。バレた。バレ。Sounds new. So, bare means to be caught red handed, basically, but without the English specialty words for it. So, bare ta means to be caught red handed without red hand, you know, the, the meaning behind the phrase. Yeah. How about tara? Do you know what that means? Tara. That's also a new word. It's not actually totally new, but it's a grammar point. It's very similar to reba, but this is more of a true if and not the fake if of reba. Like, reba is like wearing like a mustache and it's like,、oh, I am an if.、Mm. Not really, like maybe a little bit. But tada is like actually if, because bare tada, are they going to be bare dude right now? Probably not. But if they were bare dud, That would be mazui, right? Mazui. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. So then the thing that they'd be caught rendered handed doing is the koko ni iru. Koko ni iru. So just being there. Yep. The, we'll be found out that we are here, and that would be bad because we, we don't know whose house this is or whatever. We're trespassing. Hmm. Next is this guy. So, it is Jack who is a man 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 who is a So he was looking out the window earlier, and now he's like, whoop.、Mm. I don't know, I'll talk about book to hold. <laughs> he, his cow used to be、mm. over here, and then he, gometad. 
uh, now he's Madokara Mieru. I mean, Mado, I mean, uh, Mado Made Mieru. Mm. Can no longer meet the outside. So, Kometa Hiku, Hiku. Do you know Hiku? That's a pretty common word. Hikima. Hiku has, I think, quite a bit of meanings, like pulling uh, a horse and a few others. Yeah, exactly. So it always has this, some kind of meaning linked to pulling something. The hiki part, it's, it's always related to that. It just sometimes it gets a little metaphorical. So over here, he pulls his head away from the mid window. So we, we would say that in English as well. You pull away. That's the mm. kometa. Uh, specifically, the kometa part means to go into a cramped space, basically. So that tells us he pulled it inward from the window rather than maybe he fell out the window. <laughs> it's it's very like pulling backwards and we know he's in the house because if he went the opposite way, that's too big. You can't, he can't do outside. That wouldn't make any sense, you know? Mm. Yeah, so he pulled inside of something, which is the koya. He pulled koya. inside the koya. It is his face. Uh, what does so ite mean? So ite. Um, so ite. Like, even if? Yes. Mm -hmm. It does not mean that. What does ite mean? You. To say something. It does mean to say something. So, so is being used as a filler word for this whole thingy. So rather than making one long ass sentence and saying, Shush, koku ni iru no ga bareta mazui yo to itte jaku wa mado kara kao kometa, they decided to make these into two separate sentences because this is more natural in Japanese writing. And so there's a period, you know, and then we have so itte. So so is referencing the last line of something that somebody said out loud. So he said the thing he said, um, and then Jack pulled away from the window. Um, mm. The te doesn't have a super duper, um, like there's no cause and effect relationship here. It just, he says this and he pulls his head back. Uh, it doesn't mean they're doing it at the same time, but it also, there's no like relationship between the actions necessarily. Uh, so next is this guy. So, we saw This is very similar to that. The main meaning behind it is the same. Mi, ma, wa, seta. The seta was just making it passive. Whoa, that's the wrong kanji. But yeah, I was the wase, wase ru, tase ru. That guy. Mi watase ru, piki mi wata shita. So you see the kanji is still the same. The so same meat is just conjugated differently. You were able to guess what this meant last time. It's basically the same. Mm -hmm. So, mi wataru. So, it's always the word meaning. It is to scan over something. Yes, exactly. The difference is that this one right here, we have, um, it's been dropped, but it's Jack wa koya no nako o mi mawashita. The mi wasedu did not have an embedded um, subject really. It was just saying it's possible to survey the surroundings. Like you can do it, like we saw earlier when Annie was like, oh, we could see our house now, rather than I see our house. It's just right here has can inside of it. This one is just, yes, surveying height. So what does he survey? The koya no naka, inside of the house. Yeah, what does sore kara mean? We have kara, like mado kara mm. no kara. It is the same exact kara. So, 
from something until mm. so rekara. So from that. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> from that. So uh, this is more natural sounding in Japanese, of course. From that sounds a little weird in English, but he does this action uh, and then he does this. So in English we'd say and then, but it means that from that. So that action occurs. And starting from that action occurring, he's now doing the next action. So sounds gross in English, beautiful in Japanese. Do you know what mold mm. means? One more time. Exactly, perfect. And now we have um, Jack talking. Mm. Sore ni, sore ni shite mo, kon nanita kusan no, kusan no. Oh, so there's a Taksan no hon itai dare no da dare daro. Perfect. So now we have kon nani. This is very similar of on nani. You can think of them as the exact same word. What is it doing? Like, what is this? Mm, I, I like calling it the underline kon nani. Mm, so emphasize basically. Yes, it's emphasized. Perfect. Takusan no hon. So it's not just a lot of hones, it is a lot a lot. We've got a kon nani here. Ittai. Ittai. This is like not a swear word, but in English, the easiest way for our brains is to swear uh, So we could ignore that now. Um so sore ni shitemo is interesting because um this is another one of those that if you break it up it kind of makes sense but it doesn't sound sound good in english at all um it is even if you did that is what that is so like e so even if you did that uh but this right here if you were translating this into english nicely we'd say anyway but anyways. Yep. Anyways, because even if you did that, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so the temo is the even if, she is to do, and soreni is that. So even if you did that, but anyway is how we would say it in English. Konane takusan no hon, dare no daro. What does dare mean? Who? Exactly. Dare no daro. So what? Is this no referring to? It is referring to the, uh, the anyways. Or the whole. Anyways. I, 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 was doing a, I was doing a trick thing. I have two ones you can pick from, which is the <laughs> Yeah, I was confused. But or yeah, the whole makes more it is sense. The whole. Yes, I was just, I was grabbing the two nouns, <laughs> which is that and whole, which is book. Because everything else in here is not nouns. This is a verb. This is like adverb. This is a adjective noun like it's it's not a physical noun it's like a quantitative noun it's not something you could touch that's, yeah, that's the pronoun do you know what that all means uh it's like nandaro it's like i wonder exactly perfect then we have itai so itai is like who the heck in this mm. case it's like saying heck so who who the heck who, who, who the heck, who's, who, who, who the heck's books are these? <laughs> who has so many books? So Itai is like, who in the world could this possibly be? It's very like saying heck. It's not a bad word at all in Japanese. Like it's, it's, Jack is not cursing right now. Uh, you, you shouldn't use this with your boss. It is very friendly, but it's not cursing, you know? Itai, mm -hmm. I got it. So, but like Itai is like, what in the world? is uh how i would describe it or heck <laughs> yeah we do not use that in english i don't think i don't read a lot of kids that's books. kind of but yeah keepers maybe <laughs> uh okay so next is this here's our shiori which you asked me earlier what that was and i was like mm. i couldn't remember it in japanese 
think it's a bookmark. It is a bookmark. Yes. Nice. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now you get to actually read it. Ah, futon mirito. Boton. 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 Nice. Uh, you can ignore the furu, futo, that's just a sound effect basically. It means like, just uh, miruto, tondo no hon ni, shiori ga hasandeiru. So, miruto, honto, honto, toton, hotondo. What is hotondo mean? Ah, uh, hotondo is like most. Uh, most. Tondo no hon ni. So most book ni. Yep. Shiori most ga. Mm, shiori ga hasan de yaru. So there's a bookmark in most of the books. Exactly. Inside, I guess. Perfect. When he miru told. You got this one right earlier. See if you still remember it. Miru to. So, if you can see the books, you'll know, I guess. So, it's not actually an if statement. It's more like a when statement. So, he looks, bam, suddenly he can see things. Mm. <laughs> and the thing that he can see is that there are bookmarks in the, in, in the book. So, miru, it means that he is doing seeing. But if he didn't do miru, he wouldn't be able to see the books, right? You got no eyes, you can't do the action. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going on there. It's it's something you wouldn't really. Maybe it's like he takes a look and this is what he sees, I guess. But yeah, to is just linking this. It makes a cause and effect relationship. Ooh, I really want to read this book. What did Annie tore ageta? Annie ga tore ageta no wa. あ、表紙に、お城、お城、お城の絵が出ている古い本だった。うん。So, hmm. how is a furui hon different than a mukashi no hon? So mukashi is a book that is old but doesn't look that old, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's it's not an old condition if that makes sense. <laughs> not in bad condition. Uh, furui means it's no longer pika pika. No longer shiny. Hi. Yep. So we got a hyoshi as a shiro no e. So a castle ni oshiro white no e. So painting that is white. Of That's a really castle. good guess. Because you are correct that shiro can mean white. So, shiroi no shiro looks like this. Shiro. So, that's actually very smart. Uh, shiro, as you can see, they are pronounced the same. You are correct. Uh, you wouldn't really say o shiro unless you're like, maybe this is a name like o shiro sama. It should be like, oh, Madam White or something. Uh, but this is perfectly normal to have o in front of this, this shiro. This shiro means castle. So a painting of a castle or a picture of a castle. So where is this castle picture? Tori Aketa Noah. Uh so it is Oh that's after. So it's inside of the old book. It's not inside of the old book, but it is on me, the hyoshi. The shiroi no e ga hyoshi ni. So this is inside of, it's on the hyoshi. So hyoshi means cover of a book. Uh, shi right here, I think, is a kanji for paper, and hyo means like display. So the paper display of the book. The paper you put on display for people to be like, "Ooh, what book do I like? I like castles." Mm, the cover. Um, do you know what "tori ageta" means? This guy has 
you know, this guy. Tori Akita. So on top of. That's a good Akita guess. Akita means on top. Tori. So Akita never means on top. It just means upward. Most of the time. Mm. The kanji, if it's pronounced, so it's just kanji, same kanji, but if it's pronounced as like ue, then it means on top. But as a verb, ageta, it just means upwards in this context. Ageta has 5,000 meanings, it's one of those crazy words. For example, you can use it to mean it stopped raining. What? <laughs> okay, interesting. I guess, I guess the water stopped falling and went upward. <laughs> Why? I don't know. But yeah, I get that just means upward. Upward direction. That's why like if you give somebody something, you're giving it maybe upwards. Even though it's like I am above you, giving downward maybe. Mm. Uh but yeah. So we do he she's doing a toru in an upward direction. You know what toru means? Like totte? Toru. Toru. Uh not next to you. It's not a bird. Mm, tori does sound like bird. But yeah, this is a verb rather than a noun of toru, which you might say like totte would be the te form of it or torimasu. Ooh. It's like a lot, I guess. Torimasu. Yeah, torimasu. I was like, why did bird show up uh, when you typed in that torimasu? So it's all of these guys. So to, toru means to take. Toru. Uh, it's lo it, almost exactly the same as the English word for to take, which is crazy in my opinion, because you can use toru sometimes to mean like, uh, for example, you can take a picture, taking a picture, uses mm -hmm. toru as well, which I think take is a picture. like what well, is the same in English for some reason. I'm, <laughs> you'd think they'd be different, but to take and taking a picture both are daijoubu. So tori ageta. What does it mean to take something up? Words. Take something. So to grab it upwards, I guess. Yes. In English, you would call that pick up. Pick, pick up words. Oh, yeah. yep. Pick it up. So uh, tori ageta no wa furui hon datta. What does that mean? Furui hon datta. So picked up an old book. Yes. Um, that is what this is saying. Uh, to say it in English, like the most closest way to what the grammar is doing here, the thing that Annie picked up was an old book with a picture of a castle on the cover. So this no right here, what do you think it's doing? It is referring to the Yes, uh, it is. Book. Yes, it is. Uh, in English, we might say the thing, the thing. It, specifically, it's a pronoun that like, you're right, it's referring to the book. But if you didn't know it was a book, you could say the thing. So it could be the book Annie picked up was the book, it was an old book with um, a cover that had a castle on it. Or you could say the thing that Annie picked up. You, you could say either, and those would both be great um, translations because no, as you were correct, is referring to hon in here. So the book that was picked up or the thing that was picked up. But yeah, you can just fill in the thing there if um you ever get confused about what it is uh like, like if you were reading this and having to translate it on the spot like if you were a professional talkie translator you say the thing that annie picked up you know you, you could do that before you were told what the home was mm. I think, doo -doo -doo. okay next is the sentence and here Pennsylvania, show no gaito boo. Kemo atta. Yep. Pennsylvania, show no gaito boo. What does that mean? So, Pennsylvania, in the city of Pennsylvania, there is a 
But there's a book about the city of Pennsylvania. Exactly. What does mole mean? Mole. It is a particle that does something. It also. does something. Yep. So not only is there an old ass book about castles, there is also a guidebook about the state of Pennsylvania. So Jack, seeing that, he decides to do this. So right here is Totte. We looked at this earlier with Tori Ageru. What does Totte mean? So Totte is to grab? It is to take, to grab, to pick up. Then we have Tani Totte. What does that mean? So to grab your arm or your hand? That is a really, really good guess. And grammarly, it could totally mean that. But tene tote is actually a phrase that means to like to take in hand, basically. You so um, it's basically the exact it's the same as pick up, basically. Uh, it just gives it's just another way of saying it. It's now in your hand. Tene tote. Because now we have sore o. O is what's being used for um, the tote. So what is being tote is the o. And the destination is the te. You know, so we're just making sure you know that he didn't take off his shoes and <laughs> grab the guide the book with his toes. Mm. <laughs> just, just, just making sure <laughs> that you know this is Ashi ni tote. Hi. But this is like this is a common phrase. I'm like, I think I'm funny. Hi, hi, hi. Shiori no hasandeiru peiji. So this right here was interesting. So right here is a relative clause. What should this no, what would this no be if it wasn't a relative clause? It would be a, what would it be? It would be describing the shiori. It'd be a kind of like Yeah, it would be like a ga or something. Maybe an o, but probably ga. Uh, it should be ga based off of my research. I'm just like, ah, hit that word. Um, so normally this would be shiori ga hasamatte iru. What does that mean? Shiori ga hasamatte iru. Okay, so this is a relative clause, if I remember how it worked. So that means it's describing AD. That's, that's all what mm. relative clause means. So the bookmark is hasamateiru mm. in between the pages. Yeah, perfect. And the main character to this specific page, he agete mita. Agete mita. You can just do akeru. Same meaning in English. Or so he kind of brought up, I guess. Hmm. Yep. So you you you're you're thinking right by the word, but it does not have this kanji. Hmm. You know, Something else. Could have a little ge right there as well. But super. So akeru is the opposite of told you to. So Jack, he picked up a book. And then what did he do to the book after that? Did he just stare at the cover? Did he open it? Did he throw it across the room? What did he do with this book? So he opened it, I think. Yes, he opened it specifically to the page where the bookmark was. Hmm. And then he says this out loud. Uh, so there's a picture of Frog Creek. Whoa. Perfect. It's like, eh, wow. And now we're describing what did he see on the picture? Okay, 
の決心は決心。決心。決心。決心。決心。決心。決心。決心。決の写真。写真が載っている。うん。はいはいはい。So, Toshokan mo gakko e. What's the first three over there? They're all locations.、Mm. So, library, gakko is school, and koen is the park. Perfect. Those are all、um, no kotte yuru on the shashin. What does no kotte yuru mean? Kotte yuru. Located. That is a really good guess.、Uh, but in English, that sounds a little weird.、Uh, it's not wrong, I, I don't think. But like, in English, we might say like, depicted. I can't, I can't spell it, but you know that word.、Uh, at the same time, we probably also wouldn't say that in spoken English either. <laughs> yeah. I, just say, I think we just say it in, in the picture. Like, so located is kind of right. It's on the picture, in like, it's a picture of like, <laughs> Why、well, you have a special word for this?、Um, hi.、Um, and they're sokuri. What does sokuri mean? Sokuri. Carefully? That's a that's guess. A, that's a really good guess, actually. Like, that is like a beautiful guess because yukuri means carefully. Except that was a you there.、Uh, sokuri means、um, exactly the same. So, this is not like an mukashi mukashi aru tokoro ni no shashin. There's like in this picture, you can see little Henry <laughs> sticking out at the house that is across from the greenhouse. I bet you can see Henry in there. That's how it's so so g o o d y So, this right here that's being depicted is a keski. What does keski mean? Keski. It's, it's, like, in English, you might say scene, maybe.、So、like was, the view? Yeah, the view. The, the keski. View is a good way of putting it. So, keski is a noun. So that means, この trias no mado kara mieru is a relative clause. Specifically, this whole thing right here is a relative clause that is describing the keski. So, you could just say, Keski to Sokuri Shashin ga no teiru, which is, it looks exactly like the view, but they're, def- they're letting you know what view is it. It's the Toshokan mo, Gakko mo, Koen mo, Kono Treehouse no Mara kara mieru Keski. So, that is all describing Keski. So, what does Kono Treehouse no Mara kara mieru mean? We got two hard words for ya, mieru and Mado kara. Mm. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. Hi. I just started.、Hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Because apparently one of my earphones battery just died. Let me、ah. just change the audio. Give me a second. Hi. Testing. Can you hear me? Hi. Going on. You probably can hear yourself as well, but it's just for a bit, I guess. Could be me, maybe. Konnichiwa. Hello, I can hear you. Hi, hi, I can hear you too. Yes. Hi. Do. <laughs> hi, what、mm. does Madokara mean? Madokara. Madokara. So from the window. Yes. How about Mieru? So the ability to see. Yeah. The- Perfectly. The keski you can see from the window, such as the park and the school and all that stuff, is depicted in the, in the, in the picture. And it looks、That's、exactly the same. You can see Henry in the picture. And this right here, and we'll be fully caught up to where we were last time. Ah, so the yori mo oni chan ga m i t a i no a kochi, kochi, kochi ji. Ah. Kochi janai. Janai. So, janai has a meaning of like, isn't it? It's like, right? So, yori mo. Hmm, so yori. 
What do you think sore is referring to? Uh, the picture? Yes. Uh, you could also argue he's referring to the guide the book about pencil bin yasu. So hmm. the guide so that guidebook is yori compared to this, right? That's no right there. This item. The oni chan ga mitai. So it's less important you should see this. Yeah, nice. So mitai actually means want to see. So rather, than, so rather than let's see this, he's actually saying, isn't this something that Big Brother would like a lot more than a boring ass guidebook? Mm. This is what he said. So right there's a nice Noah, this thing, or this book in this case, because most likely they're referring to the guidebook. 100% the shashin is inside the guidebook. It's on one of the pages, but Annie's not really seeing exactly what he's looking at. Except for he did say, oh, it's a picture of Frog Creek. And she's like, that sounds boring, brother. Look at this. <laughs> this is what brother wants to read. Yeah. Um, so then we have this. And then we ended right here. Mm. So, any big book. Hi. Screened. Oh no, Yubi Sashita, which was rope ladder. Oh, that's now a basigo. Yubi oh, Sashita. Hi. So, uh, you, so this right here, I'm going to draw te. It is hideous. But tes have go yubis. I don't know the counter. <laughs> go, hi. Fingers. Um, go. Yep. So, finger is yubi. So, when finger turns into a verb with yubi sasu, it means to point. Because you can't point without your fingers. Mm. So yubisasu means to point. So the, so Annie points at a big ass book. Big book. Hi. Hi. And what book does she point at? Kyoryu no Tsukanda. Hi. So, oh, I remember this. So it's like a picture dictionary of a dinosaur perfect yep nice so yeah i'll stop that Oop. oh wait 